Computer, turn shop lights on. What's up, guys? It's pink. It's in the pink box. This big old thing. Let's uh, let's let's get it out and put it over here. So I put the box, the cut on one layer, that's on layer one. Layer two is the text, and we're gonna fill engrave that. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Let's go ahead and hit start. Introducing the WeCrete Vision. This is like your one-stop shop when it comes dial laser in. Dial laser engraving, dial laser cutting. We're looking at a 20 watt laser inside an enclosure, kids. It's inside an enclosure. We don't have to worry about the open architecture with this unit. It's amazing. Look at it. Look at this photograph. And um, I don't know if you can hear it. Well, I'm sure you can. Well, actually, I don't know if the mic's picking it up. It's running right now. It's actually pretty quiet. It's engraving text. Ooh, it's done. Okay, so this thing is supposed to be plug and play. Basically, you plug it in, you log into the software, which we'll get to in a minute, and you can just go from there. So ignore this over here. This is from another piece. This is just a scrap piece. But I went ahead and did just a simple rectangle and just set that to cut, and then I set this to engrave. This is the We Crete Vision, because that is how creative I am. It is fairly quiet inside the enclosure. It's not super fast, but I apologize. It's been a while since I've used a diode laser. So I think it's, I think the speed is normal for a diode laser. I've just been using CO2s a lot more lately and CO2s are just inherently faster. But considering that I didn't set anything, I just used the software settings for this. Looks pretty good. So they are billing this as a magic box. And I gotta say, it kinda lives up to the hype. It really is pretty plug and play right out of the box. So let's take a look inside. You're looking at about 140 millimeters of height without the slats in there. With the slats in there, you're looking at about 100 millimeters of height. This machine does come with a rotary, so plenty of room to use the rotary inside the device. So you're looking at a five-in-one machine. What does that mean? That means it comes with everything you need. So you've got your laser, you've got your camera, which is mounted right here. You don't have to buy a camera separately. You've got the rotary, like I mentioned. You have the slats, so you have a working surface inside there without having to order another piece, like a honeycomb. The machine also comes with the air assist included. And like I mentioned, it is a diode laser. If I didn't mention, it is a 20 watt diode laser, which is kind of, as far as I'm concerned, it's kind of the sweet spot as far as diode lasers go. You know there's more powerful diodes out there now, but it seems like the trade-offs you get between the two, if you're gonna go over 20 watts, you should really start looking at like a CO2. So I think 20 watt is really kind of the, the sweet spot Yay! for diode lasers. As I mentioned before, this unit does come with a camera, so it does auto-focus for your material. So literally, you just put your material in there, you hit auto-focus, and it's gonna get everything set up for you. So again, kind of a magic box. Reminds me of a girl I knew in college. This thing's max speed is 600 millimeters per second. You've got a laser dot of 0.08 millimeters by 0.08 millimeters, which is pretty standard now. But one of the best parts is when you autofocus. Check it out. So the box moves up and down by itself. Right now it's gonna go all the way up. It's gonna kind of reset itself. It's gonna go through its autofocusing sequence. So you're gonna see it kind of drop down. It's gonna say, oh, we're not quite there. It's gonna drop down again. And to me, this is just cool. Better to be dead and cool than 
alive and uncool. Okay, so here we are in the WeCrete editor or the their make it software. The biggest issue I had was in the beginning, this was all in Chinese. So if you come in and it's all in Chinese, count over one, two, and go to this one, hit settings, and then change this, you'll see this drop down box. And obviously you wanna change it to English. And then if you wanna change the millimeter or inches, you can do that as well. Okay. So I just downloaded a quick picture and I wanna see how easy it is to just do this whole thing. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that picture. I don't wanna do that one. I'm gonna do this guy, I think. Yeah, this guy. Okay, so we're gonna bring this guy in. You can come up here. You've got a edit image function. I'm gonna hit edit image. I'm gonna remove the background. I'm also going to remove just kind of some of the white. It's not a big deal. And obviously you can undo if you do too much. Maybe we'll be, uh, maybe we'll be done there. See how that looks, confirm. Yay! Okay. So now what I wanna do is I wanna make this small and I just, all I have is that little chunk that I cut out of there earlier in there. So we're gonna go put this on there. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna refresh. I just wanna make sure that piece didn't move at all. So it looks like it's good. I'm gonna autofocus. Let the machine go through its steps. But we can say that's a detailed image, correct? Okay, so we're gonna hit the map engrave. I'm not changing any of these settings. This is just what it gave me. I am gonna change this to bi-directional scanning though, because I feel like that's gonna go faster. I hit start. It says it's gonna be about four minutes. And then if I hit send, it's gonna tell me that I have to hit the button to start the engrave. So let's, uh, let's hop over to the machine now, check it out. Okay, once autofocus, the laser head goes ahead and auto homes back to the rear left corner, and uh, you're pretty much ready to go. So if you are running and you happen to open the top of this, I have small kids, so I like this. It just pauses, so it just stops going, but... All I need to do is hit the button again, and it starts back up. Okay, so that is what we got out of that. Let me make sure you guys can see that. I would say that this needs a little tweaking. <laughs> that is a difficult image, but I have to say, I, uh, I don't know if I would trust that right out of the box without tweaking an image. Just facts. Also, I'll, I'll post up here of uh, the screenshot. Um, it's showing me that this image has a border at the bottom that is not engraved. Like it didn't go all the way to the bottom. This definitely went all the way to the bottom. So the camera, it looks like it's a little bit off. I'm pretty sure they could tweak that in an update. Not too bad, right out of the box. I mean, that is something that I just grabbed off the internet and put in there. I, I didn't do any editing to that photo at all. Not bad. I wanna give it one more shot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw another piece of scrap in there. I'm gonna grab my logo, and all I'm gonna do is do my logo, which would be a black and white image, a little bit easier than something that's got a bunch of detail in it, and then do a circle around it to cut it out. Let's see how that goes. So here is the logo finished. The line around there, it's my bad. I, uh, I set it to engrave instead of cut. So it engraved a nice little line around. But look at the logo. Everything looks good there. I'm pretty impressed for, again, no like tweaking or anything for it. I guess we're gonna play with this a little bit more and see what it can actually do. What do you think? You ready to come along for the ride, kitties? Until next time, have a good one. Woo!